Welcome to Game Maker How to Machine Gun Burst Fire. Uh, this one commonly asked, right? You want this sort of effect where when you fire, it just doesn't fire once. It fires a couple, then there's a bit of a pause before you can fire again, right? Now obviously you can change the rate, the number, and all that here. I'll show you uh, one way to do it. This way uses alarms, so it's pretty easy for beginner. But you can easily take this uh, alarm method and just switch it to variables and your own counters if you wanted to. So let's show you what we did here. In the gun create method, I've given the gun a variable called state. Okay, state's going to remember what state the gun is in. And there's basically three states here. State 0 is the gun is doing nothing. State 1 is it's currently in the process of doing a burst of 5. And then number two, it's pausing between the bursts. So after you fire five, there's a little bit of a time delay, and there's a pause there. I also have a variable called fire count. That's going to keep track of uh, which bullet number I'm on. So I fire five bullets. I need to sort of keep track. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. And so let's see how we use these two variables in the code. What I do is I go to my space bar, and let's start with this one. When they hit the space bar, the first thing I want to know is they obviously want to fire. I'm going to check if I'm in state 0. If I'm in state 0, that means the gun's doing nothing right now. It's okay to start firing. So, I start the fire process. I change to state 1, which indicates I'm in the process of firing 5. I put the fire count down to 0, because I haven't fired any bolts yet. And I said I was going to use alarms for this tutorial here. So I set alarm 0 to 4. Very short. So it's going to start firing. Now when alarm 0 turns on, I'll actually change this to almost instant. I'll change alarm 0 to 1. When alarm 0 fires off in one step from now, which is pretty well instant, alarm 0 is going to run this code. Let's just make this all visible here. And there it is. I'm going to make a bullet get it moving, make the little uh, explosion effect, play my sound, which was pretty lame. And then here's the important code. I increased the fire count by one to remember that I've now uh, added one to how many bolts I fired. And I quickly ask, if I have fired less than five bullets, turn this same alarm back on again to go off in four steps. And maybe I'll just change that to three for now, make it a little faster. If I haven't fired less than five bullets, which means I've fired five or more, then I shouldn't turn this alarm on again. I do the else statement. And the else statement says, go to state two. Now remember what state two was. State two was the gun was currently pausing between bursts. And just to exaggerate here, uh, state two will go on. And the person won't be able to fire anymore. So I obviously want to go back to a good state later. So I turn alarm 1 on. And here I've just put it for 30 steps, just so it's obvious. And in 30 steps, alarm 1 is going to go off. And when alarm 1 goes off, it puts the gun state back to 0. And when the state goes back to 0... That'll just reset the entire process so that when they hit the space bar, yes, the state will be zero, and the whole press pra, <laughs> the whole process can start again. State will go back to one, fire count back to zero, and boom, that alarm zero kicks in the cycle, fires, and then turns itself back on for five more times, and then eventually you fire to five shots, and the state goes back to pausing. Now, if you want to see this working, you already saw it working, but just to uh, sort of talk about this again, right now, the state of the gun is zero. As soon as I hit that space bar, state is one, which starts that cycle of alarm, right? And it fires those five bullets. And then even though I'm pressing a space bar really fast right now, no firing taking place, right? Because after it fires those five, the gun's in that state equals 2 for a little while. So, that's pretty well machine gun fire. I've coded it here in the gun object, but you take this exact same idea and you can code it into a player object. Now, uh, a few little improvements here that I would do. 
is I would do stuff like this. I would do something like this. I would do fire delay. And I may say that to, uh, let's do two. And I would do the pause delay. And maybe set that to 15. So now I have two variables here. Fire delay, pause delay. Let me just put those into the actual code. That one's okay there. Let's go to alarm zero. Instead of a three there, let's put fire delay. So that's basically just a variable now. So if you want, you can change that throughout your game. If the state is two, instead of 30, 30, let's call this pause delay. And so that should work nicely. And let's see here, alarm one. No, nothing to change there. And that's pretty good. So once you've added those two and you can see here, I've sped it up from three to two. And now my pause is only 15. Let's give this a go, see what happens. Still works. Not too bad. And obviously now you can just go to that one spot. Makes it a little better there. If you don't want the pause to be so long, you know, you can change those variables. And that way it's easier, right? Remember to do that. Perfect. Anyways, there's your little machine gun burst fire. Uh, seems to be a popular one with students like to know how to do that. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, helps you out. Uh, remember to like this video. Uh, and uh, have a good time programming your game.